Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganchi. In the last video, we started modeling a lodge, a skiing lodge. Uh, in this video, we're going to continue. When you open your file, you don't see the masses that you create. Just type VG or double V for visibility graphics and make sure to check the box for masses. Now you, you can see that uh, we created two masses for the main building and observation and uh, we got a mass floor schedule and we made sure that uh, the floor area is within the requirements. Uh, today I want to go to level 1 and uh, I want to start working here. Uh, how about I just select this topography type HH so I can see the rest better and this AutoCAD file actually we don't uh, really need it. I'm gonna right click and say hide in view elements so it's gonna be permanently hidden in the file. Uh, so going forward uh, this is the main area of the building. Uh, in this level also level 1 I want to type VG visibility graphics and check the box for mass. So this is the mass that we created. Um, I have another file that I've prepared from before for the washrooms here and I actually want to bring this set of washrooms uh, into this file so I can save some time uh, and it's grouped already, it's good. I'm gonna select this group and I want to copy to clipboard. Then I'm gonna go to level 1 in our project and under modify, I would like to go with paste from clipboard. It's going to paste it into level 1. I'm going to just uh, set it here for a second. I actually want to rotate it 180 degrees. So I want to go with rotate 180. So the doors can open here and here. And I want to move this to where we have our uh, building mass which is here. So in this part I want to fit uh, the washrooms and uh, the rest of it here I'm gonna have some curtain walls and I'm gonna have some other openings over there. So I don't need the other file that's all I needed so I can close the other file. I also want to change this to fine level of details. Uh, sooner or later we're going to need more details here so now I can see the details. Okay. For the rest of the project for now I'm going to use generic walls. Maybe generic 200 is good. I can go from level 1 to, to the roof plane and I want to set this to finish face exterior then this wall ends here so I can start here going to this end let's say maybe for this part and maybe one meter on this side I want to have solid walls how about I ju just change this to shaded so you see better I'm gonna move this here so it ends the same place that's good uh, over there also I'm gonna go with the wall, same settings I wanna go with let's say one meter over here and hit a space I'm gonna hit a space and then one meter over here we are still on design level we are not on coordination level so I'm not gonna uh, worry about some other details I'm just gonna make sure that I set a little bit wall here so we can consider the grid to be there and over here and one wall over here also over there I'm gonna go with two generic walls on the two ends Okay, so I have generic walls all over there and I'm going to consider actually some storefront wall or curtain walls. I'm going to go with storefront level 1 to the roof level and I'm going to go from this part to this part. It should be good. If it doesn't 
align very well I can select it I'm gonna go with this allow join and I want to move the wall to this corner let's check the other side it all looks good on the other side as well so it's gonna be flushed with the exterior side uh, if you look at it on 3D that's what we have I can type HH here now that I look at it uh, well, we still need to add uh, the, the topography and everything but now that I look at it if I go to my section maybe for a building like this 3 meters um, is not high enough I want to change this to 4 for now and maybe we'll come back and think about it further uh, I'm gonna continue with some storefront walls same settings from here to here see if I move the wall right now like this it's gonna move the adjacent wall that's why I'm gonna select the wall like the whole curtain system right click disallow join and then I'm gonna move it to be flushed with the outside actually I should have um, disallowed join on both sides so on this end also I'm gonna right click and go with disallow join and I'm gonna move this wall over there so this now good that part is good that part is good let's keep going I'm gonna go with uh, another wall from here to here on both ends we need to go with disallow join disallow join here and move it up there let's keep going see that I'm selecting the curtain wall not the mullion not the panel but the whole curtain wall disallow join on both ends and move it to flush with the exterior edge uh, unless you want it to be flushed differently but uh, I would prefer to flush it with the exterior edge select the wall disallow join and on the other side I also want to go with disallow join I'm gonna move this down let's take a look at it so this is what we have so far this seems reasonable I'm gonna go back here how about I try to change my wall uh, storefront wall a little bit so I'm gonna select my whole storefront wall system like this I'm gonna go with edit type and I'm gonna say for the vertical spacing instead of uh, one and a half max go with two meters max maybe we can maximize our view and because I applied it to the type it's gonna apply it on all of them uh, so if you select the other walls they are all now set to two meters over there so maybe this works better and another thing is one thing you can try is I can select this wall and I'm gonna say the adjustment of the vertical mullions I want it to be from center so it's maybe symmetric from this end so that's another thing you can try I'm gonna have my doors over there and I'm gonna have another exit over there see that for a building like this we need to have two means of egress so I'm gonna go with two uh, on this end uh, I want to go with some doors let's see if we have a double door if we don't have a double door in the project I'm gonna go with load family I'm working on metric units so if I check yes I'm going with a metric project so I'm gonna go with my metric families I'm gonna go with doors and I'm gonna go with double door let's see which of them I might go with this one maybe sliding or maybe this one I'm gonna go with this door open it has different sizes if you're not sure which one you want you can select them all import them all and all of them are in the file and now I can select it from here so let's say 1800 by 2100 it should open towards outside so I'm gonna put it there I'm gonna check this view range I'm gonna type VR 
Okay, so the view range is too high, the cut plane and top, because uh, before we, the numbers were based on true elevation. So I'm going to change this from 30 to 1.2, and I'm going to change this to 2.3, apply. Now you see that the wall is cut, okay. And I'm going to see the dimension from the tab inside, the tab to inside is 4 meters. That wall, I'm going to consider 8.3 and maybe I can consider one uh, wall, just maybe a generic 100 millimeter just to separate the entrance of the bathrooms. Uh, how about I align it with this edge and let's get some dimensions. Maybe I'll change this to 2.6 and uh, that should be good here. I'm going to remove this and the door, if I change this to 0.4, is centered on this area. So that's uh, one way of exit, one egress. And the other side, maybe we can have two exits here and here. Each of these spans, as we define, is 1.9, so we can fit a double door. I want to hit tab here so I can select the panel, unlock it, go to edit type and if the door is not loaded you can load a door. What type of door? I want to go with double for curtain wall double storefront which is this one. Open and OK. Let's uh, open it outside and also I want to have two of them, uh, so I'm going to go to edit time and now that we loaded it, it's here in the project, OK, towards outside. So this should be good. Uh, the purple thing that you see is the mass floor, we have not created an actual floor yet. I'm going to add some foundation walls, but in order to do that, uh, first I'm going to add one more level so I'm gonna go here we have minus three for deck the floor is gonna be there so between level one and uh, negative three I want to type LL and maybe I want to offset our zero level by 1.8 meters and offset it here I'm gonna maybe use some of these elbows so this moves down I can use one elbow for this one too, so I can just uh, move this here. And this one is actually our foundation level. Yes, I want to rename the corresponding views. Either on foundation level or on level one, I want to draw some foundation walls. So let's go with foundation here. Uh, I want to hide all the topography elements here as well. So I'm going to type HH for now. And we need to see what's above so we can create the foundation. So I'm going to go with underlay and I'm going to see level one. So it's going to look up, right? Then I'm going to go with wall. I'll go with the same 200 millimeters. It's going to go from foundation level up to level one. And I'm going to go with finish face exterior. Uh, and now I'm going to just go around the project and draw the foundation wall. Let's take a look. Uh, also in 3D, I have not hidden my DWG. I can right click and hide in view element. Okay, I'm going to click on this topo surface type HH. Now you see that that's our foundation wall. That's where other walls start. So this looks good. Okay, I'm going to go to my level one and I'm going to go with uh, maybe hidden line. And here in this level, 
and I can create my uh, floor inside to inside of the foundation wall. If you need to see the foundation wall in this level as well, you can change the underlay to foundation. So that's the foundation wall. I'm going to go with a regular floor for now. And uh, let's say it's going to be 300 millimeters. I'm, I'm going to pick the inside line. So inside, inside. So it's going to be also inside the foundation wall over there. Just don't pick too many lines. Pick minimum lines and then we're going to trim them. For now, I'm going to just consider one set of floor. I know we have different materials, but that's a little bit further when the design is more uh, complete. So now my floor on all sides, it's within the foundation wall. That should be good. Finish it. I'm, for now, I'm going to say don't attach and I'm going to take a look at my section. In section for now, I'm going to maybe select this and type HC to temporarily hide this category. So this is the foundation wall. That is the floor and that is the exterior wall. It's going to be a nice detail, so it's going to work well. Also on this other side, that should be good. Let's take a look at it. Feel free to reset the temporary hide. You can hide the masses as well, but for now I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to move this section line using arrow keys a little bit to, to the right so I can. Uh, it's going to cross exactly these two doors. Then I'm going to take a look again. And now that I look at it, it seems that it's still I have so much excavation here. So uh, maybe I should have moved uh, my project base a little bit differently. So I want to take care of it now. Uh, so I want to select all my levels. I want to move them up, let's say by one meter. So now this is what I was looking for. So now if I consider my level one, and my topography is going to kind of have a balance between cut and fill. So that's good. The only thing is we always want our level 1 to start at 0. And to fix that, we're going to go back to the site plan. I'm going to ch change the elevation to 643. And I want to also hit tab and select the survey point and ch change that to 643. Four, three as well. Now if I go back to the section, you see although I moved everything one meter up, but because I moved the project base up as well, still uh, level one starts at zero. So this should be good. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to create some stairs. So it's going to go to the uh, observation deck and we're going to add uh, the roof and everything. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.